wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from M0FXB. 7-3, all the best. M0FXB, thought we'd have a closer look at the broadcast radio on the ICOM ID52. So, to get in this mode, you can go to Menu, and there is a selection on the top right, so you can select FM Radio. And you can go down to FM Radio On, and that turns it on. And you can turn it off by selecting Menu again and Radio Off. So you go Menu on menu select that one again off or you can do quick menu here down here fm radio on and in the quick menu again you can turn it off fm radio off use the normal volume control to change the volume you can also put the complete radio into fm radio mode so you go menu fm radio mode and the whole radio just becomes a radio so you can go menu fm radio it says normal now select normal mode and we're in normal road the, ra the radio is on but now you can hear the amateur radio part as well to turn it off menu fm radio off and again you can do all of these functions from the quick menu fm radio on fm radio off but you've also got fm radio only mo mode So let's have a look at some more fun selections within the radio FM mode. So go menu, FM radio, let's have a look at the top. FM radio memory, if we select the middle button, you've got banks. And within these banks, you've got channels that you've saved. So let's uh, select bank A. And there's some channels here that have been saved. Now you can name these. When you select one, if you want to name one, just hit the quick button here and then you can add one, you can edit, move or delete and even skip. Hit the quick button again and go up and down the list or hit the VFO to come out and select. Hit VFO again to back out just a reminder so your fm radio memory you select and there's the groups if you hit quick here when you're in the group list you can edit the name of the group list just by selecting the middle button and then use the the usual volume control we get that in once you hit the edit you can use that and you can scroll across forward for the alphabet backwards for numbers if you go to you can delete by just hitting the vfo button a as b b enter and then you've named it like so back out with the vfo button let's turn the fm radio on and let's scan so scan forward we can hold down the low lo button here But you do have to be in, in the VFO mode of the radio. So hit VFO, like so. Go quick. FM radio on. Now we're in memory. We don't want to be in memory. We want to be in VFO so that we can search the, the VFO part of the radio. So just use the usual memory button. We're back into VFO. It's unlike at the amateur radio where you hit the VFO button up here, you just select the, the memory button again. Now it says VFO on the screen. We can hold down forward 
and it will stop when it finds a station. As you can see. Let's try and find a stronger one, but not great reception in here. There you go. Okay, and we can go backwards as well. That's a Christmassy one. Up and down doesn't seem to do anything. Now if you want to add this to a memory, hit quick. And then we've got memory. Select memory, and it's going to add it into the group that you're in, and we're in group B. And you can hold down the memory button like this, and it's saved it. So when you're in VFO, you can go into memory mode like so, and then you can change different memories that you've got, okay, with the top knob. Now if you want to change to a different group, just select the quick button, and you can go group select, select group like so and then you can go through all the different groups that you would have saved let's go to the third one there you go and you're in that the, the memories in that group so have a look what other selections we have so we hit the quick menu we can tell it to skip certain ones just select the skip and it will now skip it in the memory or we can unskip it and that the word skip has gone Go back to quick. It says ATT. Now, I can't find this in the manual, but I'm guessing that it, it you know, it's like a, if you've got a signal that's too strong, you can turn that on for attenuate, and it won't boom through, um, you know, over, you know, overdrive the radio, let's say. FM radio mode means that you are just in FM radio mode. So the amateur side is turned off because when you're in normal radio mode, when the amateur radio comes on, you can set it to uh, override the FM radio and you can decide how many seconds uh, before it does that. So we'll go back into the amateur mode, which is called normal mode. We go into the main menu again, select FM radio. You've got a couple of selections here. FM radio set, you can auto mute so that's again when when you hear the amateur radio it would auto mute you can actually turn that off and you can turn that off so it doesn't do it at all you can decide how many seconds earphone not use or use and then the power save function which is a section for adding memories which is similar to dr mode so let's have a look at that so go menu Go to FM radio, and then you've got FM radio memory at the top there. So select FM radio memory with the middle button here. And you, you're looking at groups now, the different groups that you've created. Now you could, here is again where you can add and, and name groups by hitting the quick button. You get edit name, go down for new groups. Once you go into a group, let's go into group A. Now, I know these are, you don't understand these, but these are basically individual channels for FM broadcast radio. See if we can find one that we recognise, because this is a Japanese radio. I have put in some frequencies. Ah, oh, there you are. That's someone that we recognise, but they're not named yet. So let's go 100.9 megahertz. Now, let's say we want to name that. Click quick. Now, we can actually skip, add, edit, move, or delete. So if we wanted to add one, yeah, we can name it. Select the middle thing, give it a name. We'll call it A, B, C for now. And we'll give it a number. Turn it backwards, the top knob backwards for one. There you go. And we've named it. We're all, we know which group we're in, but we could change to a different group. We're in, we're in group A. 
Then the frequency, you can actually put in the frequency, so let's do one. Let's do 101. Not giving me many choices here. Uh, I think one, and then we have to cycle across. 101. There you go. Now we'll leave the skip off so we see it in the memory. As we scroll, and we'll click Add Right. And we basically created that. So now we can select that in our memory. So first we'll back out. Like so, go all the way. Hit FM radio. Go to FM radio on. Here's our different memory channels. And then you would go quick to select the group you want. Like say group C. And then you'll be able to scroll through the different memories that you've created and named so that's worth knowing it's a bit like dr mode but for fm radio let's have a quick look see if you can actually scan through memory channels we're in memories now let's hold our finger down yeah as far as i can see you can't scan through them yeah as far as i can see so yeah just a bit more information on the broadcast radio so thanks for watching and if you find this helpful please like and subscribe to my channel 73 all the best